Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games from Scratch, and I've got some good news heading into the holidays, at least if you are a fan of open source software. And that is that the 2D painting and drawing application Krita has just received an epic mega grant. Now, this isn't as epic as some of the previous mega grants, which we will cover in a few minutes, but it's still a pretty sizable amount of money, and it will go in supporting future development of Krita. So here we are on Krita's website. Uh, you can see here they received an epic mega grant. Uh, epic to make our Unreal game engine have supported Krita with a $25,000 mega grant. Epic has supported other free software packages such as Blender and Lutris before and uh, now supports Krita. The purpose of this grant is to fund improvements to our development process so Krita development gets more sustainable. This is something we have already started on and wanted to accelerate uh, with an estimated 5 million users making sure that we can release a stable a version of Krita as possible in as dependable way as possible is pretty important. So pretty straightforward and short announcement. Basically they got 25 grand to make it so that their build and release process goes better and you might sit there and go okay well $25,000 especially from something like Epic with all that Fortnite money it's not a huge amount well if you look up here their December donations were 1700 euro and I don't know the euro to USD conversion but it's close to I think one ish um, so even then they say they round it up we'll say they're making two grand USD a month um, this is 10 months of funding for Krita so it is it's definitely a sizable donation for a project like this. Now, if you've never heard of it before, uh, the Epic Mega Grants program is actually really cool. They announced this at GDC, and basically they are giving away a hundred million dollars to support game developers, enterprise professionals, media, entertainment creators, students, educators, and tool developers. Uh, so. Game developers, you can see there, as long as you're working with UE4. Um, media and entertainment, again, makes sense. But the area where most of us probably care about is either education or, more importantly, tools and open source developments. And this is where we're seeing some of the biggest benefits from the Epic Mega Grant program. What I think I love the most about the Epic Mega Grant program is if you did a Venn diagram of people that really hate Unreal Engine because of the Epic Game Store and people that really love open source software... There's that overlap, and they're very, very conflicted as a result of these giveaways. Uh, I actually don't have anything against uh, Epic Games. I think that they've been pretty class so far. Now, I'm not a big fan of Tencent, but Tencent is not a majority owner. So, Anyway, so that's the Epic Mega Grants program. It's been going on a while now. As I mentioned, uh, and so did the press release, there have been some Epic Grants in the past. The biggest one, the one that truly deserves the word mega, was when they gave $1.2 million to support Blender, and that will make a tangible impact. That's a couple of developers for a couple of years. That's a pretty huge um, investment they made there. Another lesser known one is actually they, they sponsored Dust 3D. Dust 3D is a very interesting uh, rapid 3D modeling program. I checked it out in the past. I'm going to check it out again on the video. I'll do a video about it sometime in the future. Um, I'm not sure if they actually announced how much money they got, but they did um, they did receive a mega grant. Also, as you saw, Lutris uh, won a mega grant as well. So there's definitely some great programs out there. Now, if you've never heard of Krita yourself, you really do need to check this out, especially if you do any natural media painting. Um, I personally have been using um, Corel Painter since I bought it in the package, but this kind of... if. If you're looking for something like that to do the natural media type work, or if you're trying to do sketching or drawing, or you're trying to do 2D animation, Krita is definitely something you should check out. Krita is available at krita.org. I should point out it is completely free, completely open source. Uh, it's available for a number of different platforms. You can see the user interface has come a long way. It's very clean, streamlined, customizable, um, and there are dark and light themes. I know there are people out there that absolutely love their dark themes, so I get that one. A number of different tools in here, so we've got a number of beautiful brushes over a hundred of them, uh, brush stabilizer, vectors and text, brush engines, wraparound mode, resource manager, and then this is one of those things that's kind of been coming in the last couple years, is you've got full-blown uh, 2D animation. It's funny, you go back a couple of years and 2D animation was almost non-existent and in, in the open source world, and now we have um, Toon Boom or the Open open Boom or whatever the hell it's called. We've got um, Krita now doing full-blown 2D work, and then we've also got um, Blender's Grease Pencil implementation getting a whole lot better on top of the other 2D packages that exist out there. I've actually done an article on 2D animation software on uh, DevGame, if you want to check those out. It's under the free category. Um, so anyways, yeah, that is... Uh, 
Krita, they now have $25,000 extra to spend thanks to Epic Games. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Krita is open source available on a number of different platforms. You see you can get it on Windows Store and on Steam, and you can get it for Linux and OS X as well. So pretty much no matter what operating system you are on, unless you're, a, I don't know, an Amiga user, you're pretty much set with Krita. And uh, it, it's, really, it's getting pretty rapid releases, and the cool thing is, again, this whole thing is to make that release schedule and... and um, sync wins uh it, you know more straightforward and elegant so I, I think it will be money well spent but i i do actually have to question you guys once again what do you think of epic mega grants what do you think of the fact that they're giving away you know this hundred million dollars to game developers uh professionals and educators open source tool makers and so on I, I can't help but applaud this initiative it's you know it's more than most others are doing anyways um so anyways some good news heading into the weekend congratulations to krita hopefully that money is useful and i will talk to you all later Goodbye.